Complementary colors are two colors that are on opposite sides of the color wheel. As an artist, knowing which colors are complementary to one another can help you make good color decisions. For instance, complementaries can make each other appear brighter. They can be mixed together to create effective neutral hues, or they can be blended together for shadows. Let's explore how you can use complementary colors to your advantage. Complementary colors are the opposite hues on the color wheel. The first set of complementary colors are yellow and purple, blue and orange, red and green. The color wheel can be divided up infinity numbers of times to include all gradients in between these basic hues. What is most important to understand is that no matter the shade or tone of the color, the opposite color is always is complementary. Complements make each other pop. One other thing you will notice is that a pair of complementary colors is made up of one cool color and one warm color. Red, orange, and yellow are the warm colors, while blues, greens, and purples are the cool colors. This helps create what is known as simultaneous contrast, the highest contrast available on the color wheel. Simultaneous contrast occurs due to a natural illusion when you place two complementary colors next to each other. Both colors will appear brighter and grab a viewer's attention. Artists use this to their advantage all the time. For example, sunsets with gradient from deep blues to bright orange are more eye-catching because they rely on simultaneous contrast. Mixing complements. When you're mixing paint, look to the hues complementary first, because it can make wonderful things happen. For example, choosing to blend the complementary color into the main color of a subject is one of the best ways to paint dynamic shadows. You can also use the complementary color to make a hue less vibrant. The more you add, the more neutral it becomes. What is split complementary? Split complementary is a color scheme using a color plus the two colors adjacent to its complementary. It is a piece of color harmony that expounds upon the ideas of both complementary and analogous color schemes. To achieve split complementary, one of the two colors from a complementary color scheme is split into the two colors adjacent to it. Those two colors are analogous to each other but still appear complementary to the non-split color. The resulting contrast is softer than pure complementary colors, but there's more nuance and a stronger element of unity. The Impressionist painter Claude Monet was a master at using this type of color scheme while maintaining harmony. In this painting, there is a feeling of both subtle contrast and balance, even with the harsher greens and yellows in the bottom left. Here's an example of how to do it. We start with a color and find its complementary. Next, we split that complementary in two. These three colors now form a split complementary color scheme. If we break the color wheel down into 12 colors, three primary, three secondary, and six tertiary, we can calculate that there are 12 basic split complementary color schemes. This, of course, doesn't account for value or saturation, which when added in can create an endless amount of possible color schemes. The most important thing to watch out for when creating a split complementary scheme is the distance between the secondary colors. If the colors are too close, you lose the split nature of split complementary and it becomes regular complementary. If you pull your colors out too far, it ends up becoming a triad color scheme. Another important aspect of split complementary is how the colors are used. An equal amount of each color can lead to a visually confusing image. Instead, focus on one color as the dominant, one as the intermediate, and one as the subordinate. Another way to say this would be to pick one color as your base and add the other two as accents. When to use split complementary. If a complementary scheme is too sharp or too lacking in pizzazz, consider expanding your scheme into a split complementary one. 
Analogous color schemes likewise can easily be shifted into split complementary if lacking contrast. As one of the greatest potentials of split complementary is the addition of warm colors into cool and vice versa. Next, let's take a look at some examples of split complementary in action. This color scheme sees a lot of use in a surprising variety of ways. Split complementary is used a lot in character design, where individuals must be unique and able to stand on their own, but also fit well within a greater pattern. One of my favorite examples of split complementary is the Vermeer piece on the far left here. The Milkmaid's Eyeline directs us to the orange milk jug and pot, thus completing the split complementary scheme when set against her blue and yellow dress. Here are three examples of split complementary used in photography, branding, and even interior design. The possibilities are endless, and now you have the knowledge to use it yourself.